Hello, blessed and beloved jewelry community. Welcome to this tutorial number 13 for Blender 280 and above. My name is Damian Rohrbach, website is atelierlausana.design. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make technical drawings with Blender, obviously for jewelry designs. Okay, so I'm going to use, now that, we, that we've created a very pretty ring, I'm going to open um, tutorial 12. So if you haven't seen tutorial 12, go and check it out. It's the previous tutorial. <clears throat> so I'm going to go save it as and it's going to be drawing your 13. No. I'm going to first prepare the set. So uh, let's start erasing what we want to use. So erase that and that. Okay, um, I'm going to remove a couple of things. I'm going to remove uh, some booleans I don't want. I'm going to remove the text because anyway the engraving won't be visible in the different views which is superior view, front view and side view. So I'm also going to remove had some remeshing going on there and subdivisions. I'm going to adapt the model. I'm going to simplify what I don't really need for the technical drawings. So two levels will be way enough. And I'm going to remove the boolean that says text. I'm going to remove it here. Remove modifier click. Oops, sorry, one too much. That's good. okay. So this is uh, this is all right. Uh, it's also important. I'm going to apply. So convert to mesh. Apply the modifiers. I'm going to do the same with uh, many things. Uh, okay, this I'm going to put at level two, I guess. Also here, convert to mesh. These decorations also convert to mesh. This uh, also convert to mesh. It's a bit easier to prepare the model for the technical drawing because we're going to use the, the freestyle rendering option. So the freestyle rendering op option, uh, we're, we're going to learn how to set it up and to get what we want, white background and uh, the drawing in black. So there, it's a very powerful system that Blender has for, for that kind of uh, functions. So I'm going to learn, uh, I'm going to, to show how to use one setup that works and we won't go too much into details. There's many, many options, but I'm going to show one that works for jewelry and that's what we need. Okay, so I'm just here preparing uh, everything, checking that we don't have mirrors uh, still on here and there. Okay, I think we're good. So now here I'm going to delete what's hidden. I don't need it anymore. So I'm going to hide that, that uh, text here. Who's that? Okay, uh, this one, yeah. I always forget that little side decoration there, which is a nice detail. I don't need that anymore. Okay, what is this? I don't need that anymore. What is that? That's the ring. Okay, that's, well, anyway, now uh, let's, let's select all that and make a control J. Okay, that's the, let's call it ring, and that's the ring. Okay, and uh, we're about, okay, let's go to set our region to geometry right there. No, it's not even so good. Let's center it even 
like it's not so centered. Okay, uh, that's the ring here. We're going to hide completely. So, uh, okay, first I'm in look score. So let's go back to cycles. That's important. Let's go and remove the materials so I don't have, I won't be using the materials for this setup. Okay, now background is gone also. Okay, let's go to the passes here. Uh, no, sorry, uh, let's go to the object here. So here we go to visibility first. We're going to remove all the ray visibility because I just makes the render faster. Okay, so that's what we have. So now let's do an Alt Control Zero from the front view. The camera, we're going to set it to a orthographic type. Let's go at something like 65 for the size. We're going to make it square at, okay, square view right there. Okay, first, okay, we're good. Now, uh, we have that. So if I turn on the preview, I should have basically nothing showing, maybe a background. Okay, that's it. There's nothing because there's no background. There's no object. It's totally hidden. That's what I want now. All right, let's go back here. Now, let's take that and do a shift D enter. Let's move it to uh, 26 to the side. Let's rotate 90 degrees this way. Okay, so that's the side view. Now do shift the enter, move it, uh, let's say 26 to the top. No, that's not enough. Okay, here. If I want to uh, have the same distances, you can use a cube. Let's make the cube uh, any size we want. Uh, set the cube uh, at the edge of the first object, let's say here now, and the edge here, I'm going to move it up here. Okay, so that's the first distance. Now let's do shift D and move the cube there, the copy, so this view will have the same distance. Okay, you can go and erase the cubes. Go back to camera view. Now let's take the camera. Okay, sorry. Uh, going back, this guy, I need to rotate it to 90 degrees this way. It's minus 90 degree. Okay, sorry, that's the view. Okay, uh, front view. Let's put it into position. Something was very odd then. Okay, here, we got this. Go back to camera view. Now let's take the camera. We're a bit too far. Let's go 60 maybe, 57. Okay, and move the camera if you want to center the view. Okay, so we have that. So obviously if I go to the render preview still, there's nothing showing. And actually the freestyle option, so it's in the the render tab we have all these options and down here there's the freestyle so here we're just going to turn it on the way it is absolute at one pixel it's good it's very good and now in the passes we are going to set up the freestyle options okay so Ah, and you know what? Background first. So background, we're going to make a uh, white background. That's the white background. Let's check if the preview, okay. So now we have a lighter background, that's good. Okay, anyway, let's go back to the passes for the freestyle, which is what we want to learn today. Okay, so the freestyle is a way to represent visible line, hidden lines, and marked lines. There are different type of options and there are many options because we can set the line type for every type of edge type. 
uh, for what's visible. Then we can set uh, edge type for what's not visible, which is hidden. And uh, the QI range is um, our passes of uh, distance from the, the camera, which also allows from 0 to 100. You can choose what part of the visibility range you can you want to, to to show up as a line type also so these are many options but anyway first we have a line set which is on this one is for visibility and edge types uh, we have many uh, options here and actually I'm going to turn just on the contour and remove the crease that's the first thing then for the, the the line type we have a line style and the line style can be um, has many 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 options all the, all the strokes color alpha thickness geometry and texture and every uh, option has modifiers if you want to change the way it draws so this is amazing the way it works the only bad side is that freestyle is a bit famous for being a bit slow uh, like one minute for a normal image let's say but it's a bit slow but also because it allows so many options so you must know that being so complete it does take uh, a bit to make the render but it's understandable all right so the first line type, it's just going to be stroke and I'm just going to change the color. No, it's already good. So it's already glad that the line is going to be black. The stroke is going to be plain and that's okay for now. So now that we have a line set with a line style, which is the, the almost the default, I just changed the contour and remove the crease. Um, if I go and make the render, so let's go and make the render. So uh, here goes the render. You can see mesh loading, view map creation, computation, rendering strokes. Yeah. Okay, we have this, which is already pretty good, but it's not good enough for what I want to, to show you. So we're going to go a bit further. And, uh, but, that's already almost usable. The only thing I don't like is that we're not seeing the faces of the diamonds and some edges are missing. I'm making this tutorial because with that drawing in the next video, I'm going to, when well, in the two next videos won't be using Blender, but I'm going to make something very important for us jewelers and uh, jewelry, uh, culture I'm going to make one video about drawing uh, using the traditional gouache technique by hand obviously because I do that um, way more than people know or think I do that uh, I've been doing that for decades also uh, I've made uh, books and expositions uh, well books on my own I mean but I've printed uh, more than 50, uh, well, I make collections in a lot of drawings uh, using gouache. That's the point. And then, then we will learn and we'll see what goes on when we use a Wacom tablet for jewelry drawing, because obviously tablets and especially Wacom tablets are very, very welcome in our field and drawing jewelry using a tablet is very fun and very efficient. Uh, so one thing is 3D jewelry and making renders. That's very nice, very pretty, pretty clean. It's a very important technique nowadays. Obviously I've been doing that for decades. So for me, it's boring. Uh, that's why also I love making tutorials because that that's more fun now. I, I prefer making tutorials because uh, just uh, working the way I've been working for decades 
well, that's not good enough for me anymore because I've been doing so much every day for the, so long that I want new ways of, of sharing and showing my work uh, around the globe and uh, it's working so I'll keep doing tutorials and um, I love drawing, I love uh, 3D uh, but I really also do love uh, drawing by hand on a real piece of paper using real paint and uh, that's something that will never go no, no matter how much technology uh, we have uh, and uh, that's uh, nice to, to share too. So that's why I wanted to, to make this tutorial first because then I use the material we going to produce today for the drawings uh, by hand and for the drawings with the tablet and, and we'll see because obviously uh, you've seen the render of this ring uh, had quite uh, quite a success. Uh, thanks guys. Uh, thanks uh, Thanks to all of you. And uh, well, that's one part of the product, uh, the render, right? But like I said, we'll do the drawing by hand and the drawing with the tablet. Okay, so that's what we have for now. With the basic setup, we're going to learn <coughs> a bit more how to um, get a bit more lines. So something I can do on the diamonds so here I have the diamonds I'm going to do an alt Z C and with shift I'm going to remove these uh, I'm also going to okay at the top here C shift key and here the entire diamond I'm going to remove this one but then I'm going to take it back with L I did that because we had some hidden lines actually we do have okay let's do alt A and just take the diamonds so alt C is going to be good so let's go L L L L L oh alt A. <laughs> just do an undo if you go wrong with the selection it's going to be So I could have done that before moving and copying the, the ring for the different views, obviously. Well, let's go here and do a P for selection. So I'm taking out the diamonds again. Alt A, L, 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 L. Control Z, if you go wrong, boom, 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 undo. And control Z, L. It's going to be enough with these for the front view. So P selection and back here. So I could have done the setup first, but uh, as always in the tutorials, I want you to see all the steps as if you were doing it for the first time. So when you, when you do something for the first time, you do it, you see that things are not the way they should. Like we have the basic setup for freestyle, but it's not good enough. So we must take some step backs, like taking the diamonds out, because I'm going to show how to use the edge marking for the freestyle. So let's take the diamonds uh, there and let's do a control J. Let's go to edit mode, select everybody with A and do edge mark freestyle edges. Okay now let's go back okay so let's go back to the settings of the freestyle line set so the line sets you can change names let's say this is a visible black lines that's the name of the set for what's visible and these edge types now let's go and create a new line set this one we're going to call secondary gray line Okay, for this one, we're going to set to hidden edge mark and remove the other types. And now this one, well, like I said, the color is going to be gray. So let's put a middle gray there. And the strokes are going to be long 
gap short gap long short this is the technical the normal technical drawing line for hidden lines ah, not even true hidden would be just plain gap plain gap so let's go and do so in blender we can do that how can you change the type of line here you go and turn this on and d g d g that stands for uh, dash gap dash gap so let's just do a uh, uh, dash of four now let's go to five and three six and three okay six and two so now it's going to make six unique long dash and two unix long gas holds so it's going to, it's going to alternate six two six two plain gap plain gap and we're gonna have an assurated line so let's go and render and let's see what happens so we come here the um, the samples are not uh, really important I kept the normal uh, 128 okay now we have something interesting there all right these are the secondary um, gray lines so as you can see it's already interesting because we can see now the the diamonds the faces of the diamonds but what I'm going to change basically is that because I'm going to do okay so now you know how to do that you can do it now you can do it the way you want I won't be using alternating lines so I'm going to keep that at zero I'll remove that this way and I'm going to now you know what uh, render. and I'm going to make a uh, uh, lighter gray gray lighter gray a bit lighter gray here also I'm going to make the render at 4k so 200% resolution it's going to take uh, just a couple of seconds more so like I was saying the sample uh, cycle samples uh, well you don't need a, a high one because we're not rendering materials at all so the GPU is not uh, much involved here we have no objects on the render we just have the freestyle rendering which based on the cpu i'm not totally sure but i'm almost sure it does well i could check on the system is that true yeah it's true it's running on the cpu almost obviously okay so we have the secondary lines using the uh, the second line set that's pretty good the only thing also I like to change is that we ha still have some missing edges so that's not so nice that's not so nice so how can we solve that so in the passes for the freestyle there's the crease angle option that's the one we want so here for the visible black line i'm going to put uh, the crease and i'm going to put a uh, suggestive contour and ridge and valleys it might be too much but it should be what we want we'll, we'll check it out and also so now let's go with that obviously that shouldn't solve the problem because i haven't changed the crease angle at all the crease angle is what decides if a line shows or not depending on the angle of one face and the next face that's the crease angle so if the angle is not that much it won't show up an angle is pretty strong the default angle is pretty strong because that's the normal option in main in many cases but generally in jewelry because the edge the next the next face is sometimes under the first face we have more angle way more angle okay that's almost the same 
so we need to change the crease angle uh, let's go at 172 let's run the render again and let's see uh, what changes let's see if we get those missing edges we want because I want them for the drawing I'll be making in the next tutorial um, because that's the shape of the detail that's on the ring so if I don't have those well it won't be so precise as such a precise drawing and I want to make a very pretty drawing obviously okay so as you can see it does take 48 seconds one minute sec and that's what I was saying it's not so fast because the method used to calculate the strokes the visibility must check a lot of things so the computer needs to calculate quite many things and boom okay now we have more but we have a bit oh, quite good there are some weird faces here on the diamonds some are some are not but that's pretty good and now I do have these edges so what I could do what I could do well first this is a bit too strong to make this just a bit better well first many uh, in many occasion uh, we when we draw the well the big business like the big brands they have some have in-house drawing artists jewelry drawing artists working for the big brands i won't say the names <laughs> because you all know them okay so the big brands uh, some not all some have in-house uh, drawing artists so the artist receives the technical drawings and most of the time his job is to paint with gouache with the traditional technique is just to paint the the technical drawing he's receiving okay he's not going to design on the computer he's not going to make the work i'm doing now that's uh, another designer doing that the artist, the drawing, the, the gouaching artist is just going to paint because they've studied and practiced just for that and to become the best at that. Okay, so that's why they're, they're paid for. So some big business and big brands, they have in-house artists. And some others, uh, which I are also quite many, they outsource that work to um, the best gouaching artist in the world um, it's a very strong tradition between Italy Switzerland and France especially uh, I was lucky enough to study in Switzerland because that's where I was born that's where I grew up and that's where I just had the wonderful idea of becoming a jeweler so I learned the traditional gouaching technique uh, thanks to the to my master and the master of my master's drawings and many hours spent drawing okay so many people have their brand or own name stamped on the drawing okay so basically i'm going to do that first i'm just going to add a i'm going to do that directly in, in blender so let's add a plane here to the view and um let's make it bigger here now this one is going to get the materials so let's call it brand Let's go to shading for a second. Okay, th these are the old uh, look score material. Let's just delete, delete that. And we must change to the shader editor, which has the cycles material on. Okay, so let's bring add input texture coordinates generated. Let's bring a texture image right there. 
open my brand um, where am I where is my okay mm, we're going to put uh, this one uh, now let's go have a look uh, if the orientation is correct so now this one is going to show up okay it's pretty good I can still make it uh, bigger I guess well, so big and make it white so let's add an input uh, no sorry uh, just to go for the invert node invert let's plug in it right here and that's pretty good okay so we're gonna have that on the all right so now going back to the freestyle to make it just slightly better let's go to the passes so the visible black lines i'm going to remove these i'm going to make a new uh, line set this is well, line set three, the name is good. So these are going to get the crease and the others I just removed. And the color is going to be lighter. So it just doesn't mess up too much on the drawing. Okay, with that on. So for the other type of edge types, I'm setting another line set with, an, an, uh, with another line style. And we're going to get something that should be slightly better for the print, uh, the printing process and the drawing process. So now many of that work, uh, traditionally the drawing would be uh, made uh, well with normal pencils, uh, uh, with a normal pen, uh, compass, uh, squares and all of that to make the drawing by hand, the technical drawing all by hand and then it would get painted that's the old school way so if something went wrong you had to start all over again from scratch making the entire drawing by hand it, all the views and then there's a isometric view and then there's a perspective view also and uh, that um uh, was uh, really time consuming okay so it's a bit better it's a bit better but i think we have too many lines now and this guy is coming out too much okay so this is going to be a bit smaller here that's fine okay let's go okay we can do also the following the thickness here the thickness i'm going to put it at 1.5 i'm going to take the crease a bit down maybe 168 okay and uh, i might let's see the crease on the uh, on the just on that set and the other ones on the first set with the black lines okay so now i'm just working uh for personal preferences uh there's nothing new uh, new to learn i showed all i wanted you to to see about the freestyle options in blender to make a technical drawing and uh, to be usable uh because what now so now there's a new technique. Most of the work is done on the computer, then gets printed on the paper and then gets painted by hand. It's obviously a bit faster and easier. If something goes wrong, we can do it as many times as we want until we get the best resulting sketch uh, or gouache uh, painted, uh, hand painted gouache that, uh, that is possibly doable and uh, also some designers uh, that's why i show you the wacom tablet uh, a moment ago uh, some just don't even draw on paper anymore they do all the work on the computer and they give it a handmade look which is pretty cool too but it's different so some brands and some uh, let's say last year and I, I made a, an exhibition an exposition of some of my drawings in a gallery the owner of the gallery asked me to do everything by hand and i agreed because he was right obviously if you're going to sell your work as an artist 
uh, if everything is done by hand, uh, your work is going to be much more valuable and uh, will have a higher status as an art form. And obviously you can sell your drawings at a very high, uh, at a higher price. And sometimes that price can get really, really higher than if it's done on the computer. That's why I wanted to make this tutorial and talk about that because for many people, well, obviously we're following the channel because I, I do 3D jewelry, but like I always said, we are jewelers. Uh, I'm a designer, jewelry designer, but I am, uh, uh, I am a jeweler. So I also draw the jewels and uh, it's not all about the computer because if you only work with the computer, no matter how good you are, the value of what you're doing won't be able to rise that much in some occasions and there are some type of clients or, and markets you just won't be able to reach because they won't be interested at all about what you're doing so old school is still very important for many and very good reasons the old ways are also very important Okay, so um, blessed and beloved jewelry community, that was tutorial number 13 for jewelry design with Blender. Today we saw how to use the freestyle rendering uh, option to make technical drawings. My name is Damien Rohrbach. The website is atelierlausana.design and we'll see you soon. Take care, be nice to people, bye.